Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're actually gonna be flexing with some more ta -da -da -da, new foundation because as you guys all know, we had so, so, so many foundation launches recently. So today, as I said, we're gonna be flexing with the Milk Makeup Flex Foundation Stick. Also today, I'm gonna be sharing with you so many tips and tricks so that you guys can get a really great flawless makeup application. This video is in partnership with Sephora, the number one place for all your foundation wishes, honestly. This is how I feel when I go into Sephora. I'm like, oh my God, there are so many brands, there are so many shades, there are so many, and the choices are endless. So pretty much to describe it in one word, at least for me when I enter Sephora, and I feel like you guys already know that, Heaven is exist on planet Earth. So now without further ado, you guys, let's just move into the video. So as you can see, I already flexed with my eye makeup and all I have left to do is pretty much just flex it a little bit on my face as well. And so from here, I'm gonna be showing you my very first tip and trick. And honestly, you guys, this is like a game changer. This is like the kind of thing that will literally change your life forever. So if you're watching this video, give it a like, or a thumbs up or you know whatever that is and so anyways from here what I'm gonna be doing I just gonna be taking my damp beauty blender along with my urban decay setting spray this is the all-nighter one and I'm gonna be damping it really really well with like you know two three four five six you know the more the better and what I'm gonna be doing pretty much I'm just gonna take it and damp it and really like let it soak into my skin really, really well and just really work it into my skin. And honestly, this will prepare your skin to your foundation like so well. I can't even explain it to you until you're actually going to try it, you guys. a minute or so as you can see my skin is prepped to the max and right now I'm gonna be moving into foundation now for today I'm actually gonna be using the new milk makeup flex stick foundation now a lot of you are always asking me what's my shade when I'm trying new foundation and I do understand that you guys are trying to figure out what shade are you gonna be in but you guys really don't take in count that I do have a lot of light on me and it's not always the right lighting. So it's not necessarily that you guys are gonna be this shade, but just so you guys know that Sephora has these really, really cool features, first of all, on their website. So whenever is it that you're trying to get a new foundation, you can actually go on their site and fill like a form. And let's say that you guys are a NARS in the shade Punjab, you know, or whatever. And so you're gonna be filled that up and tam -da -da -dam, there will be some magic happening. And in a few seconds later on, they will pretty much tell you what shade you're gonna be in this foundation. Now, this foundation specifically have 36 different shades to it. Now, let's assume that you guys don't like to shop online or for whatever reason, you can pretty much go to any Sephora location and a beauty advisor can actually match you with this really, really cool device that they call it IQ Color, if I'm not mistaken. So there is that. So that's also just like another cool feature. So you don't really have to like be a scientist to figure out your own shade. Now, a few things that I do want you guys to know about the formula. So first thing first is obviously this foundation actually is a medium coverage but it's very very buildable now the thing that I like most about it it's that obviously it's kind of like makes you feel like there is no foundation on you which is something that I really like and that is also why they call it a flex foundation you guys Dun, da, da, da. now just so you guys know another thing that is very important at least to me because I do have a lot of redness this one actually have a chamomile to it so it's pretty much just like soothe your skin and it also have a blue lotus extract so that's alone gives you like this really hydrated kind of look and it's kind of like bring you life into your skin instead of making your skin looking kind of dead you know if you know what i mean so yeah so from here as i said i'm just gonna go ahead and start applying it and blending it into my skin for this really really beautiful application 
you guys look at this skin right over here look at how it applies into my skin this is absolutely unreal but as I was saying, this first tip just like really, really helping everything. And besides that, as I was saying, the foundation actually have this really natural finish to it. So that's like really beautiful. It's not like cakey or any of that. It has that flex to it, sis. So at least if I'm not going to the gym, someone else will flex for me because I'm lazy like that. <laughs> Another thing that I do really want to mention, you guys, trying some other, you know, foundation sticks in my life. This one really does have this hydration. Some of the sticks that I've tried are so flaky and so dry. So as you can see, tum, ta da da. Mm hmm. Definitely a camera ready kind of a look. Well, I do need to blend that, but in general, it's going to be a camera ready type of a look when I'm done. <laughs> So my second tip has to be with long lasting foundation. Now, if you do want your foundation to stay with you for the whole day, no matter what, here is a really great tip for you. Once again, what you're gonna be doing is pretty much just take your beauty blender and then again, you're gonna be taking your setting spray and spray them together. However, this time you're gonna be making sure that your sponge is actually kind of like damp and not really wet like we did in the beginning. So I'm just gonna be waiting a little bit, just like, you know, a second or two, or I'm gonna be doing this so that I'm not creating any holes in my foundation. And so right now I'm gonna be, once again, just blending it into my skin like that. So after I blended everything to the best of my capabilities, I'm gonna be taking my NARS Creamy Concealer, and as you guys all know, I'm in the shade Custard. Now, here's my third tip for you guys. I highly, highly recommend you to always do your foundation first, and only then doing your concealer, because if you're gonna do your concealer first, and then you're gonna be applying your foundation on top of that, you're just gonna be mixing all together, and you won't really have this highlighting effect under your eyes so unless this is the kind of look you're going for then that's a vibe but I highly recommend you to always do your concealer second after you do your foundation so just like with any other foundation if you guys do want your foundation to last you do need to set that however as I mentioned in the beginning of the video this foundation actually have a natural finish to it and I'm not trying to destroy it by all means and cake it up I do like a natural finish on my daily activities, if you know what I mean. So for that, I'm actually gonna be using for today the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. And my shade is actually shade medium in number two. So I'm actually gonna be grabbing my brush real quick and I'm just gonna dust it real quick like that. And it actually super, super fine. So that's kind of like really good because it's not gonna cake up your makeup. I absolutely love this powder so much. So now moving into the grand finale, I'm gonna be taking my setting spray one more time and I will spray it all over my face just to make sure that everything looks really beautifully and seamlessly and that the makeup basically melts into my skin. And that were all my tips and tricks for you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you do have any tips and tricks for me then please feel free to leave them down below here in this video also make sure you check this bad boy right here the new milk flex foundation it is definitely flexing and I can definitely see myself wearing that every single day just because it has such a natural finish look to it and also because it doesn't feel like I have any foundation on normally stick foundation can be really really heavy but this one doesn't and as you can see it is very camera ready so if you like to take your selfies then voila you have that as well I will leave a link for you down below here in this video for you guys and that is pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed if you did then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below here and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!